Okay, hi everybody, I'm Johnny from Eco Geek Company and um, we're just making a, a short video just to explain the difference between charging cables because it can be very confusing. Um, as you see more and more public chargers popping up all over the place and uh, there's a greater need for higher powered home chargers, what people will start needing to keep and carry with them is what's called a BYO cable, a bring your own cable. The reason why a lot of stations uh, are socket based and you have to bring your own cable is because there's a wide variety of EVs out in the marketplace and some of them use different connectors. So rather than having one station for one type of EV, it's better to have a station that's a socket and then you bring your own cable that's meant for your car. So we'll talk through because there's basically pretty much only two types of cable. So one of the most common types of cable, particularly here in New Zealand um, and America, is this one. Now this is called a type one cable. So you'll see at one end, this is a, uh, looks like a flower. This one, this end is called a type two. This is the end that will go into the electric vehicle charger, which will be wall mounted or be a three standing charger. So that's the bit you plug in to get the power. This end is the bit you plug into the car. And you see, it looks like uh, it's, it's got a trigger, it looks a bit like a gun. Um, and you plug that plug that in. So it's got this this little locking mechanism, uh, and it looks I think it looks a bit like a Star Wars droid. There's a little face there, um, but that's one way to tell what's called a Type One connector, also lovingly known as a J1772. This is really common in American uh, EVs. It's an American standard, um, and it's common in Japanese EVs. So you see it there uh, quite a bit. So very common, uh, and that's the cable you would need to to have in your car. Uh, if you're using, say, a Nissan Leaf or anything like that, which has a Type 1 socket. That's the one you want to carry with you, and that means you can access uh, a wider range of public chargers and also plug into your home's charging station if you have a, a formal hardwired station. So next up, we have what's called a Type 2 cable. Now, this is common for, um, uh, becoming common for, say, Teslas, so the Model 3 Tesla. Uh, and for European EVs. One end, it's a type, type 2 male, and at the front end, it's a type 2 female. This is the end that will plug into the car. It can carry um, a higher voltage and a higher level of power than a type 1. It looks like a flower, is probably the best way I can describe it in terms of what it looks like. Um, and you can get this in two versions. So one version is designed to, lift, to deliver 32 amps. It's called a single phase one, which is fine for the majority of EVs. But as we're seeing more and more high powered EVs that are capable of charging faster from domestic power, um, they are acquiring three phase versions of this, which can deliver 22 kilowatts of energy. This particular one here is a three phase, and you can tell it's a really thick cable because there's three uh, power cables inside, therefore it's thicker. Um, so it uses that to deliver a higher current. This is becoming the most common standard for EVs. Most new EVs are, being, are coming off the production line with a Type 2 socket because it means they can charge faster from uh, AC power. 